Welcome to the Sunday Mass with Bishop David Ricken from St. Francis Xavier Cathedral in Green Bay. We are the church sent forth to bring hope, healing, mercy, and love to all God's people. Individuals and families continue to return to church every Sunday, yet there are those who for various reasons cannot be present in our parishes at this time. We are here for you. We invite you to pray with us from wherever you are. Good morning and welcome to the TV Sunday Mass. This is the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. It's so good to be back with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this, you who trample upon the needy and destroy the poor of the land. When will the new moon be over, you ask, that we may sell our grain, and the Sabbath, that we may display the wheat? We will diminish the epah, add to the shekel, and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly for silver and the poor for a pair of sandals. Even the refuse of the wheat we will sell. The Lord has sworn by the pride of Jacob, never will I forget a thing that they have done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, who lifts up the poor. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, who lifts up the poor. Praise, O servants of the Lord, 
praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, who lifts up the poor. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory who is like the lord our god who dwells on high who lowers himself to look down upon heaven and earth praise the lord praise the lord who lifts up the poor From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from the ash heap he raises the poor, to set them in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, who lifts up the poor. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgiving be offered for everyone, for kings, and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, there is also one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself as ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this I was appointed preacher and apostle. I am speaking the truth, I am not lying. Teacher of the Gentiles in faith, and truth. It is my wish then that in every place the men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, the person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. If therefore you are not trustworthy with dishonest wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and mammon. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is so good to be back with you at the TV Mass. I've missed all of you. I want to express my gratitude to everyone who carried on so well with the TV Mass in my absence during my recovery from surgery. I wish I could call everybody by name that needed to be thanked, but I'd like to thank the three priests who served as the priest celebrants who did a fine job, to the Divine Worship Office of the Diocese, who planned and served during the liturgies in several capacities, 
to the production crew from the diocese, from our communications department, to the cathedral staff, to the organists, and the volunteers from throughout our diocese who served as cantors and lectors over the last weeks and all who continue to do so. Thank you so very much. Thanks to the Berkshire Automotive family and the Bishop's Appeal for funding this Mass, which is an honor to be able to celebrate on Local 5. Thank them for running this Mass every Sunday morning. God bless all of you. Most of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for your prayers. My recovery, I would say, is going very well. Not just I say it, but the doctors and others say I'm doing well. And I know it's because I've experienced the effects of your prayers very tangibly. My recovery moves along at a nice pace, and I can almost feel your prayers being poured into me. Thank you so much. It means a lot. You know, when you stop and think about it, everything we have and everything we are is a pure gift from God. So many of the tests in life and success in life depends really on how grateful we are for all of God's gifts. We get into trouble when we start to think that we worked so hard, therefore that's why it came to me. That definitely has a motivation. You can't usually do things without good work. But there's a very important pitfall to avoid. Over our identifying ourselves with what we have done, what we've accomplished, or what we have. That is the love of mammon, or the love of money, or even attachments to our own accomplishments. We hear in the gospel reading today from Luke, Jesus said to his disciples, the person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And so as we work to become more and more trustworthy of God in the little things in life, then he adds more and more benefits to us and shows ever greater favor. Even then, it was, if it was God who rewards our efforts, it is God who created everything and everyone in creation. So we go back to him in honor and gratitude. We owe our gifts, our blessings to him, and gratitude for giving us the talent to help us grow and expand and help others to be lifted up and helped by what we can do to share with them. Besides daily Mass every morning, Mother Teresa used to spend an hour every morning in adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, looking at the Eucharist in the big gold vessel. We believe that the Eucharist is Jesus himself, and Mother Teresa used to say that after looking at him every morning for an hour, it was so much easier to recognize him, the face of Jesus, in the destitute, the poor, and the dying people whom she served. Who are the little ones in your life? Look all around you. You will see the face of Jesus, especially in the little ones. Be good to the little ones in your life. After all, compared to God's mighty power and his superabundant love, you and I are all little ones too. My brothers and sisters, let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Gathered as a family united in faith and baptism, let us bring our needs and prayers before our loving God and Father. For the church, may the Lord continue to bless those discerning priesthood or consecrated life with generous and open hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for elected officials. May the Lord guide them towards decision-making that promotes the life and dignity of all people, especially the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the chronically ill, may the healing compassion of God be made present for them through their families, caregivers, and all who support them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families in this faith community, may the Lord strengthen their bonds of love with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may Christ welcome them into the joy of this eternal banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, hear these prayers that we have brought before you and answer them, we pray, in accordance with your divine will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you, and in joyful celebration, we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, and with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Francis Xavier and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now, my brothers and sisters, from this holy altar, from the Eucharist and from our own hearts, let us extend peace to the entire world. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. shepherd says the Lord I know my sheep and mine know me Please join in reciting the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. And may almighty God bless each and every one of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thanks for praying with us today. A special thanks goes to the Bergstrom Automotive family and to the Bishop's Appeal for supporting this broadcast. May God bless you. Remember, God loves you, the church loves you, and so do I. <laughs>